great day program. Mr. Gary. Oh, Mr. Gary, please. Don't you remember me? You knocked out two home runs from me one afternoon. Oh, sure, sure. I remember you. How are you? Just great. I've been waiting here all afternoon because I, I had to tell you something. I just got in town today, and I had to tell you, I did what you said. I tried hard, and I made it. Look, I, I can walk. Well, gee, that's, that's great work, kid. That's wonderful. You got a ticket for the game? Yes, sir, you bet. Well, well so long. So long. Sixty-two thousand people have jammed the Yankee Stadium this afternoon to pay a tribute to a man who for 16 years has given everything that's in him. Never in the history of baseball has there been such a spontaneous demonstration of love and affection for one man. Perhaps you know him as Larry Mingle, perhaps as the Iron Horse, but no matter how you know him, he'll never be forgotten, nor will his great records. They'll never forget his greatest record of all, his amazing feat of playing 2,130 consecutive ball games over a period of 16 years. Though everyone is here today to show Lou Gehrig just what they feel in their hearts, to say hail and farewell to the pride of the Yankees. Emotion on all sides is tremendous around home plate. All the celebrities standing there. Now the beginning of the ceremonies. Manager Joe McCarthy comes forward, hands Lou Gehrig a plaque. And on that plaque are two words, don't quit. Though anything in Gehrig's nature were the quitter type. Manager Joe McCarthy puts the plaque down, turns around, receives a trophy, and in turn, gives that trophy to Lou Gehrig. The trophy is a trophy from the New York Yankees, the teammates of Gehrig. They're trying to tell Lou what they... Here comes the mayor of New York City, Mayor Fierro of LaGuardia. LaGuardia addresses a few words. The crowd of New York perhaps telling him what Gehrig has meant to this city. Now LaGuardia turns around, extends his hand, and shakes hands with Lou Gehrig. Gehrig visibly impressed with all his demonstration of affection. Postmaster General of the United States, Jim Farley. Farley walks over and shakes Gehrig's hand. Gehrig again, trying to manage a smile. Now Babe Ruth, the Sultan of Swat. Babe talks into the microphone. Babe is the man who appreciated Lou Gehrig in the batting order. Number three and number four. Babe Ruth walks over, puts his arms around Gehrig's shoulders, and here they are. The heart of the murderers roll the New York Yankees. Gehrig still with his eyes down on the ground. Now manager Joe McCarthy addresses some remarks which draw even applause from the boys themselves. McCarthy walks over to Gehrig, puts his hand affectionately on his shoulder, and starts leading Lou Gehrig over towards a whole galaxy of microphones. Which maybe Lou Gehrig will be saying a few words in this whole crowd in the stadium hope so. Gehrig stands in front of these microphones, visibly impressed, all choked up. Listen to that crowd! 